Welcome to Hanging with the Hazemans. I'm Jess. And I'm Alexander. And each week you can tune in to truly hang out with us. We're ditching the perfectly curated content and giving you the raw, real-life conversations about the fun stuff, the hard stuff, and everything in between. With that being said, let's hang. What do you mean? On today's podcast, we're talking about why we're fighting today. (laughs) (laughs) No, different. So I don't know what we're talking about. You have the list. I don't have the list. I'm just just trying to do it. Um, We're talking about the holidays oh is this where i name off the holidays or (laughs) um so i think i know where this is going um but do you remember the first time we talked about holidays or like what are what are we talking about here i feel like yeah looking back we were dating we started dating in the summer so like by the time the holidays ca- came I thought you were gonna say the 60s I'm like, what? <laughs> by the time the holidays came not only were we serious but i was already living with you at that point like we were Very serious true. and i remember being like okay so you know I want to spend the holidays with you. And you were like, okay, That's great. then you come to my family. Like you were like 1000% not on board with even like making like a fraction of a time to see my family. And you just expected me to like drop my family and come to your events. Uh, I feel like I said, if you'd like to come to mine, you can do that. And if you'd like to go to yours, you can also do that. <laughs> exactly. I invited you to make your own decision. Yes. I didn't tell you you had to come to mine, but if you wanted to, that'd be wonderful. Right. Yeah. But then if I went to mine, you you would not come to my, come to any of my family events. Well, it depended how mine was going. <laughs> and I believe at that point, there was a couple things going through my head. One, I felt like... Uh, my family we always had like a really good time or whenever you say things like picking one or i'm like oh where am i gonna have a better time and at that point in my time but that point in my life i was making the assumption that i would have more fun at my house for celebrations and then also i don't know if this was happening yet but your mom didn't like me doesn't she we get along now um (laughs) so i don't know if that was something that played into it but also i feel like if i gave you an inch you'd take a mile which i didn't know what a mile looked like but i just i wasn't up to giving up ground yeah no i know and you also had this idea in your head that you guys like did these big extravagant holidays your mom didn't even come to Christmas or Thanksgiving. Like, we didn't see your mom for years for holidays. Wait, wait, wait. Are we talking about the first one? Yeah. Or, oh. The first Thanksgiving. Oh, Because that was the first thing that happened. Your grandparents were still alive. So, that was one wow, of my arguments that, that I was able to make to my mom was, yes. like, she totally understood that, like, y- your grandparents were very old. Like, when I started dating you, they were in their 90s, right? Mm-hmm. So that we knew that we didn't know how many, you know, more holidays we had with them. So my mom was very understanding of like every single holiday we wanted to see your grandparents if possible. But like, like I said, like your mom, we didn't see your mom or your dad. We spent the holidays with your grandma and your grandpa and your aunt. Wait, wait, you're saying (laughs) holidays. That's just Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Okay. No, I'm, oh yeah, yeah, the first year. So then the first year comes Christmas. Well, wait, wait, but I believe we did Thanksgiving at my house because they... No, no, no. I, I, the first year that we were dating, I went to Thanksgiving at my house by myself. Really? Yeah. I, so my, my parents do Thanksgiving at like two, three o'clock is when we typically eat dinner. And I went there and saw like my aunts because our Thanksgiving is pretty big. Like my aunts, my aunt was still, was my aunt still in town? Yes. We went to Yorkville. I remember one time at Jack's, we went to Yorkville. A thousand percent, but it wasn't the first one because the first one I went a hundred percent by myself because you were like, well, I can't miss the Thanksgiving walk that happens at two o'clock and no one will switch. We cannot do it at another time. We have to go at two o'clock. And my mom wasn't there. Your mom never. We, this is the first year I've ever celebrated Thanksgiving with your mom. 
Okay. So it was literally like, and you wouldn't, you didn't even want to ask. You didn't want to be like, can we do it at one o'clock? Cause like we all live close. So like you could have gone on the walk and easily gone to my mom's house. She's five minutes away. Could have had dinner with yeah. us. And then we could have went to your six o'clock dinner, but you were like adamant. Probably just didn't <laughs> want to give year. you anything. You didn't, didn't want to give, give me anything. And I was like Power terrified struggle. because I was like, I really like the holidays for my family. I don't see my aunts and uncles all the time. And like, so getting together for the holidays is a really big deal for us. Whereas like your family, especially at that time when your grandparents were still alive, we were over at your grandparents' house almost every, every day we were there. We walked mostly every day. Mm -hmm. We would go to family dinner once a week. We would be there once or twice a week. Cause I remember sometimes they would get like not snails. What did they always order? Oysters. Oysters. <laughs> and we would go on that day too. And like, we would be there twice a week for family. We saw your aunts and uncles all the time. And so uh, for me, I was like, dating for? at this point, so Thanksgiving. No, no, no. Just like how long, in, like when did we start dating? 2016. Wow. So, and it's going to be 2024. That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now you've made some compromises eight years later it's eight, gotten easier well, i feel like it was an hour after the first holidays and i was like no mm. so, the, so and i like i remember the first holiday happening because i remember bringing up thanksgiving and you being like yeah if you want to come to my thanksgiving that's fine but like you didn't like you never said and when you're like newly dating you always have that like awkwardness of like not wanting to 100 percent speak your mind so i was like to, to, uh, but, uh, and I was just like so flabbergasted and then Thanksgiving happened and you didn't come to my Thanksgiving and I was like <laughs> oh my god like I thought you uh, 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 like I was so <laughs> shocked so then we had to like sit down and like I had to like talk to you I was like we we're serious like we want the we're going to you know eventually get married and have kids and like we have to make compromises here. So then Christmas, I don't remember our first Christmas. Oh, uh, first but. Christmas, we kept going back and forth. Okay, yeah. I want to say the first two years or two or three years of us being together. And I I had a great time. So it was it was intense. So Also, three-minute drive. No. The whole Christmas, the whole Christmas shebang was on the 21st of December, we would fly to Omaha with your dad and your stepmom, spend yeah. your sister's birthday and Christmas Eve with them in Omaha, fly back Christmas Eve to go to the Binder, our best friend's Christmas celebration that they had at like the night of Christmas Eve. Yeah. Then we would go to my mom's house and sleep there because my mom really wanted us to wake up Christmas morning and spend Christmas morning with her. So we'd go to my mom's house, wake up, spend Christmas morning with her, run over to the grandparents' house, which was like a five minute drive. We'd go over to the grandparents' house and five have... Five minutes is a lot close, like more accurate than three. I, I'll give you that. <laughs> and then we would open presents with your side of the family so your mom would be there your aunt and uncle would be there i think it was first with my mom first because i don't think the pierces were there yet oh okay well no they came too because oh, then okay. so we would do you know in the immediate family presents have like a little brunch your yeah your aunt would show up and we'd do presents with them too because she always yeah. brought the my, my favorite quiche and then we would go back to my mom's house to spend a couple hours there and that's usually when we um or my and then we would have christmas dinner with my mom but she does dinner at like two or three so we would do that then we would leave go do the walk the annual christmas walk at your family's house and then we would eat dinner at like six o'clock and we would get home christmas wait, night wait, wait, but then we'd play dictionary no then we'd get home christmas night and i would be so freaking stressed out and he's like he's just so outgoing and like go with the flow and you doesn't just, care you just talked about like a perfect couple of days there. i know and i'm i was so stressed and like exhausted and was like these holidays suck and granted like there were so many good memories and i really truly did like love that we got to see both sides of the family and we made it work but like it was exhausting and not like in support of how my body functions and my brain functions. And I was just like, really, it, it was not great. I loved it. <laughs> and then, like you said, a couple of days later, then they had another big Christmas party um, to play dictionary oh, and like yeah. tons of people would come over. So like it was a whole big event. No, no, that so, was charades. 
Oh, okay. Dictionary's Christmas oh, night. Oh, Dictionary's Christmas night, late at night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, needless to say. <laughs> now that we got that cleared up. We, I know. So, then eventually, I think it was when my brother had his first kid, which was four years ago now. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Um, and he and his wife were like, well, not only that, they moved to Minnesota. So they like were no longer local. But both parents, both my um, sister-in-law's parents and our parents still live locally. So they come back for cur- for the holidays. They always come back. But they switch who they're seeing. So one side, like my sister-in-law's family, they'll see you for Thanksgiving and they'll spend Christmas with us. And then the next year they spend Christmas with or Thanksgiving with us and Christmas with her side of the family. And I'm watching this from afar while we're going through this like insane Christmas fiasco every oh, single well, year. Super fun holiday times <laughs> is what I like And I was like, them. oh my God, they just look It just seems so relaxing. I can't even imagine just seeing one family for the holidays. Just one. And getting to like really be there. I think the big thing for me is like so much of the fun happens in like those those quiet times, those conversations. And I felt like as soon as we were like settled and having fun, we'd be like, oh, look at the time. Got to go. And we'd like book it to the next I place. do remember that a couple of times at your mom's house and in Yorkville where we started playing games and like people were actually talking to each other. And it was, we were having so much fun. And then we dipped it and went to your 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 grandparents house and it was like your aunt was still like finishing cooking and your cousins were like off doing their thing and we were just like sitting there like well we just left a really good party for this <laughs> and it was like uh this kind of stinks uncle was watching football in the other room oh man but yeah um i don't know it was definitely like so i would say our get-togethers are more on par for our family dinners like we just like or i guess our holidays are more similar to our family dinners now growing up we used to have 20 30 40 people at the holidays and i and i think then those finally just started ending and then like my mom i keep forgetting that i didn't see her for thanksgiving or a lot of holidays for some like i she would go to canada no you're you're, she was always in omaha with your sister on thanksgiving oh yeah, and then we did see her on Christmas every year, but gotcha. okay. um, but we were juggling families and whatnot. So right. yeah, I, yeah, last year was that the first year I think. Yeah, because then we got pregnant, and um, this was like a sit down conversation. We were like, okay, we're not doing this for the holidays. Like we are. This is going to be Adeline's third. Third Christmas. Impossible. It, no, she, it is going to be her third Christmas. Yeah. Because she was tiny there first Christmas. Okay. I was <laughs> like, how? She's only two. How can it be her third Christmas? Math. It's crazy. That's mind boggling. Anyways, so the first Christmas, I was like, I saw what my brother was doing, and that's what we decided to do. So instead of it being like the big fiasco it was, we were like, hey, you know, th- we're switching off. You get Thanksgiving this year, Christmas next year. And we did that for year one, which kind of stunk because it was like, everyone was like, it's Adeline's first Christmas. And I think that ended up being like my mom's side because we just like linked up to what my brother was doing so Mm -hmm. that we could see him for the holidays. So um, we celebrate with my Konechny side of the family, see everybody. And then for Christmas the following year, which was this year, no, which was 2022, that was when <laughs> this is what math is confusing <laughs> then we spent that with no that this seems wrong this has to be what her. what is no because she was born two years ago yeah but we definitely saw my mom on adeline's first christmas whose christmas is this year your mom's oh I th- I'm thinking we already celebrated Christmas yeah, because we, we we did celebrate Christmas <laughs> with your family, and I was so confused. But yeah, 
wait, no, we're spending it with my my mom again. Okay, yeah. that's why I'm so confused because I felt like Christmas already happened. When his when his sister was in town, we like went and cut down the tree and we actually like exchanged presents and celebrated Christmas at Thanksgiving because we won't be with them on actual Christmas this year. That makes sense. We're, hey, man, we're getting it. Oh, man. I was like, this doesn't make sense. The math, the calculations don't make sense. But yeah, I don't know. And this year... I feel like Adeline is also old enough. So like the first couple of years, we didn't really do any of our own traditions. So like, like we've been talking about for this whole time so far is like what our families usually do. And your family takes an annual walk for the holidays, like whether it's weirdo turkey trot or the Christmas and my parents, you know, do a two o'clock dinner and you guys eat at like seven thirty at night like <laughs> with your family it's always really late aim for five eat by seven um i think this year is closer to six yeah no it definitely was so i i would have to say but what are some of the other things that you remember especially growing up because that those are like the traditions that i want to ins- instill for adeline like what are the things that you remember my question Ooh, um, so for me when i think of holidays it just goes back to going to the cousin's house or the cousins coming to our house and us playing games and just hanging out for the whole day and then they say the turkey's ready and we're like bummer like we had to stop playing games right exactly that's how what i remember is like going to my aunt's right. house and it being both of her sides like i have a really good um cousin who's actually you know my aunt's niece but blood we're not related at all but she was always there for holidays it was i saw her twice a year but like she was my age i was so excited to like get to see her and we just had a freaking blast we were running around like nutheads and just Mm -hmm. like like you said that's what i remember is having that whole day and that's why i think like it stinks that we don't see both families day of. Right. Luckily, both of our families are pretty adamant about like, well, we'll just celebrate Thanksgiving with your family the, a couple days later and yeah. like Christmas with your family a couple days later, which is great because then we really do get the best of both worlds. Yeah. But having that full day to just like truly get that downtime and like force the little kids to run around and play with each other and it's it's allows for those memories to be made yeah and i i would say my thoughts around holidays have changed a little bit just because we do see our family so much and like that's the whole point of the holidays it's because you usually don't see these people that often but we're going to your mom's house usually once or twice a week we're going to my mom's usually at least once a week unless they're gallivanting around somewhere else um my dad comes here usually once a month. Your maybe. dad and stepmom are so wonderful when it comes to holidays. Like I know that <laughs> like I, I'm sure they're like, wow, why, we really like drew the short end of the stick. But like they don't care. They're just like, we'll see you, you know. Yeah, we'll see you uh, around. We'll see you the next week. We'll see you whenever. We'll celebrate Christmas two weeks early. Like they're so accommodating and it's just so nice because yeah. we didn't have to like. Well. And squeeze them in could you imagine if we had three families the day of that would have been awful so uh, on my dad's side like i remember those fun holidays it would just be me and my sister driving up to my dad's house and we'd have like 45 minutes an hour to talk that yeah. would never happen um then we would get chinese food mm-hmm. uh my uh grandma at that point grandma jane would um uh uh, mistake Lindsay as my dad's wife or something of that <laughs> nature <laughs> so always something funny going on there um but always good good holiday memories with the time like you said so for me i am not as worried or tight on like my schedule and addie's schedule just because we do see everybody so much yeah you've what? definitely become yeah. more lax especially with having adeline but i still feel like there's like traditions that i want i think could be fun i don't know like we my the two big things in my family growing up were we did saint nicholas that would come like i don't know december 15th or something like that your guys holidays stocking or your things always confuse me and then when we talk to other people they're like oh we do this too i'm like ah Man, yeah, no, we I thought did. it was just you bunch of weirdos. <laughs> we did St. <Saint> Nicholas. <laughs> so you got candy in your stocking like 
uh, before Christmas. I don't even know. And then we did humongous stockings. I'm not going to be able to eat candy. <laughs> and then we did humongous stockings. My mom always stockings were so, so big. And I remember waking up in the morning and like... I was the youngest, so I was always the first one up, and I would sit at the top of the stairs, and my mom would not let me come down until all three of my brothers were awake, which my oldest brother's 10 years older than me, so, like, when I'm five, he's 15, like, he's sleeping in, he's a teenager, like, he's, what? I never slept at Christmas. You're weird. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he did, and he did not really, I mean, he cared, he, was, like, loved Christmas, but... Anyways, so we would come down and the first thing that we would do is open these humongous stockings that were pouring out with like so, things. So until this year. You had no idea stockings? Well, no. No, no. I knew they were a thing because I've been coming to your Christmas for a while, but I didn't understand the reasoning behind stockings or at least one of the reasons behind stockings because at our house, we would come downstairs and there was... 500 individual wrapped packages yeah, which your mom still i would say the past couple of years she stopped doing it as much but she's used to it. like she would wrap like socks and like then she would wrap like the very small stuff that we would get in our stockings mm-hmm. she would individually wrap well, and give and, to you and she would tell us it's because oh like then you get to see more then you get to open more like that's more exciting and i was like that's her reasoning behind it but then you're like but then you have to like feign excitement for socks or like yeah you- like they're exciting to, it's exciting to get fuzzy socks but it's not like thrilling exciting where you're like i just opened this present but that's also how we grew up like like i said we got all that smaller stuff yeah. in our stockings which was great and then we would like when we opened a present from under the tree it was either from Santa Claus or we knew it was going to be a really big one and a really good one. Like something that we, we asked for, like, right. and we didn't have a, t- I, I mean, we, my mom went above and beyond always. And we did have a ton, but like there was less big presents because we did like have huge stockings. Well, it was really funny because for us, our big one was from Santa Claus. And so like she got all the credit for like, the the not great stuff like <laughs> <laughs> oh just like those socks and <laughs> the smaller things like i remember they're usually being like all those little small things maybe like a nice shirt or something like that and yeah. then like a scavenger hunt for the big gift so that I, was a big one that you guys did with scavenger hunts yeah. so Huge. christmas christmas morning was it a uh, last last present the last present was a scavenger hunt which i think is so cool but what i really like now is that adeline gets to participate like your mom has carried on that tradition with adeline and same with my mom like we when we celebrate christmas with my mom and her side of the, fa- or my side of the family, Adeline gets a stocking and you get a stocking. Bali, our dog even gets a stocking for my mom. Like she has carried on those traditions. So now it's like taking a step back as parents to, mm-hmm. you know, one, almost two kids. How do we make our own traditions? And like, what do we want? Like, do we want to do big stockings? Do we want to do an annual walk? Do we want Chinese th- food the, the night Chinese before? Chinese food the night before. So many people have like... They will like make hot chocolate and go look at the lights. Like that's their tradition for the night before. Or they get a new set of pajamas the night before to wear. Or they read a book or they watch a specific movie the night before. What are some of the other ones? Yeah, like, and then it was some some people do like an annual ornament. So they get like their kids get an ornament to put on. Oh, we, the tree. we would spend a day, uh, not a day, but a night after dinner. Um, decorating the tree and eating chili i don't eat chili but this was once a year my mom and dad would fight with me (laughs) about it just eat the chili and i would barely ever decorate because i was there just like choking down this chili until it was close (laughs) to the end and they're like hey this guy hasn't done anything take one bite have you guys always done real trees too um because i know we went and cut down a tree the past couple years yeah we used to go to this one place that was super fun that you'd walk like a a mile which is probably maybe like 400 yards just through a bunch of trees and then we'd cut it down and bring it back and then we'd have um they'd have apple cider there and then they were selling a timeshare in florida (laughs) i always remembered there was something about like going to florida for something like disney yeah and i'm like this is weird but that's um, funny. Yeah. 
Well, and I like that you say like it's like super fun because what we went and cut down a tree with Adeline this year and it was like we, you know, got the saw, we went, we picked out a tree, we cut it down, we went back, we got a donut, we got hot chocolate. And like for her, that was like the most exciting oh thing in the world. And like the- so like <laughs> we as adults are like, wow, that was awesome. But like we're these are the traditions that they're going to remember. Like they don't have to be these huge extravagant things. They're just stuff that we do i don't know like and the kids they find the magic in it like that's what i just truly love oh man i wanted to talk about so much more today and we're time is running out our little oh it's it's 25 we're 25 minutes in i know and addy woke up a little early but i wanted next time on the podcast i want to talk about santa claus and elf on the shelf because those are two really big traditions that typically happen. Well, and I and think we'll our take, to, yeah, our take's a little different. Our take is a little different. And Ooh, I good th- teaser. <laughs> right. So we'll have to continue this conversation next week. But <laughs> <laughs> two things that we have to talk about next week. Remember them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Bye. Thanks so much for listening to this week's episode. Head to the show notes to access all of our organizational tools like our household planner and checklists. And make sure to follow on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube at Jessica Hazeman. Oh, and leave us a rating or review. We appreciate your support. 